going on, right over left, we the best, man. Welcome to Respect My Journey. I'm your host, Carl Krauser. I'm the cruising king, Queen Krauser, a.k.a. that old black magic, baby. What's poppin', y'all? All love, baby. What's up? The Bronx, New York, what's good? New York City as a whole, what's good? X up, you already know. Let's go, baby. RMJ, that old black magic's on the way. X up like you know what's up. Let's get this movie started. I'm making a quick protein shake, man. You know, got some milk. I have some milk right here. Take my time on this wine. Got some milk. Got the creamy peanut butter. I'm going to throw that in. Maybe about five scoops of that. Just five. And I have me some apples. Apples, 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 apples. apples. Throw these apples in here. I'm going to cut them up, chop them up right quick, and I'm going to get the party going. You know what I mean? It's always love to y'all, man. I hope y'all having a great Thursday. I hope everybody's smiling. Dare the challenge not to use the N-word. I dare you. I dare you. I triple, triple, quadruple dare you not to use the N-word today. Try it, man. Try it. You know, slow practice, slow practice, because I always want to see people you know, live through positive progress. So I love to see people doing good. It makes me happy. Even if you not family, if I don't know you or we're not related. You know what I mean? So let's scoop this in right quick. I know y'all been watching the playoffs, man. And on another date, I'm going to break down some playoff stuff. That's two. I'm going to break down some playoff stuff and uh, give y'all my reactions, real reactions to it with some more stats and everything. But sometimes I don't think stats are needed to talk about effort, you know, just to talk about effort on the offensive end and the defensive end and just in general all in the game and sustaining that effort and also what it takes to be a super athlete or just to be a professional athlete and have to go out there and perform at a high level. You see, these aren't big, big scoops, so it's pretty big, but not too crazy. Pause. You know, it's four. Oh, <laughs> it almost dipped on me. <laughs> but, yeah, um, it's, it's like you – I don't think these people that's playing in the NBA – I don't think that you're showing the kids the proper way to play basketball. A lot of the teams, not every single team and not every single player. But there's so many players who give up so fast in games, man. They just quit in games. There's so many players that quit on defense. There's so many players that, um, you know, just they don't give maximum effort. While they out there on the court. And I don't think you should be out there on the court if you're not going to give maximum effort. It just makes sense. I don't think you should be on the court like complaining at the refs all game, putting your hand up, looking around while you're walking back on defense while everybody else is running. Excuse me, y'all. Pardon me. But... It's, it's it's like it's like sometimes you see that these people don't respect the game, and it's like people like myself who respects the game and who loves the game, you know, and really has a real passion for this. It 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 makes you annoyed, you know what I mean? And even people that played on a different level, you know what I mean? It it makes them annoyed. It makes them annoyed. Excuse me. Even people that hasn't played, they see this. They see the half ass play. They see the trotting. They see the people shooting, like, shot selection is just like, what? It's a question mark. Like, they don't know what's a good shot, bad shot. I just remember a stat yesterday in my head, right? It was halftime of that Boston Celtics game. No, it wasn't Boston Celtics. No, no, no. It was Curry. Curry. It was Curry's team, Golden State Warriors. And 
the other team literally was seven for twenty-eight at the half from three. Seven for twenty-eight. And I'm sitting to myself, sitting there looking, I'm thinking to myself, like, this is the type of basketball that these people are being taught to play. This is the type of basketball that these people feel comfortable playing and the coaches are feeling comfortable letting the players play this way. See, it starts with your coach. So if some of a player can't shoot for a certain amount of years, such as Ben Simmons, if he has a hard time shooting, aren't, don't you have coaches that you hire that's supposed to help him become a better shooter? And, incre and um, increase his play level and increase his skill level. You know what I mean? I believe that you're there getting paid in the best league in the world. Believe me, I played in other places. And I know just from stories that the NBA is way better. But you have to take a lot of stuff. So you have to put up with a lot. And you have to go into the gym and put a lot into your body. You have to go into the gym and just raise the level of your game. You have to want to get better because you already understand as a professional. Hey, if I get better, my team gets better. If I do my thing and get, and get better, we go further as a team. If we go further as a team... We get more recognition. You know what I mean? And then we get to show people and inspire people to do better. You don't know how many people are on deathbeds or sick in hospitals or going through a lot at home. And you don't know how much just watching that game helps them out just for those few, those minutes that we watch those hours or hour. You know, it's, it's those times that I think as an athlete, I always took and held in a special regard. And sometimes I felt, I felt short of that, getting angry, letting anger take and get the best of me. So, you know, briefly going through those moments, I understood that I couldn't come out there like that anymore. See, you can't let somebody else make you angry and control how you feel and how you carry yourself and move throughout the day. It's hard as ever. It isn't easy. Come on now. I practice this joint every day. I'm a human being. But as a human being, I'm also a piece of God's life, like I told you in the beginning. Just like you are. So I hope y'all take the, the, the game that you love more serious in the NBA. I hope that you guys really start to see and appreciate that you make an uh, impact on people's lives. And we're watching you play the game. Some of y'all play the game in a bad way. And you're not representing the game in a positive way. There's greats that came before you that played the game the right way. And had more game than a lot of these people that's playing now. So who are you new guys and young guys and young fellas and older guys too? Who are you guys to go ahead and just mess up the game like this? Get your butt in the gym. Work hard, train, and do the right things. Work smart. Nobody wants to see you dunk all day and do stupid layups and all this other stuff, man. We want you to learn how to finish different ways, yes. But we don't want to see you have problems at the free throw line. That's just not going to help the team. Whoever has problems shooting free throws, each of you, like Claxton, come on. He's in the playoffs. He was 0 for 10 in the game. From the free throw line. Like, that's unacceptable as a player that gets minutes. You know what I mean? Last apple. But back to live action. It's it's a sad shame that you have a guy on your team that can miss 10 free throws and keep you out the game. It's sad that you have a guy on your team that doesn't want to play the game and help his team. That shies away from this because of his skill level. And he's mentally going through a crisis with probably thinking, is he, can he make an impact? 
and he doesn't want to mess up. See, I know what that feels like when you don't want to mess up, but I don't know what that feels like to not want to play in the game and not wanting to perform, especially when my team needs me. I don't know that. See, I do the opposite. I perform at a high level when my team needs me because I'm the leader of that team. And if I wasn't the leader of that team, I tried to give maximum effort on certain parts of the court every time so I can help my team and put my team in the best position to win. And a lot of you guys in the NBA are comfortable with making that money. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you're making that money, show the kids, hey, I'm making this money because I raised my skill level and level of play to a different level to where I made them pay me. Care about the game. Think about what you say. Don't make comments like we don't need a coach. Don't make comments like, oh, my team, I, well, I don't, um, excuse me, I don't, winning isn't the uh, number one priority. No, winning isn't the number one priority. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, champ? What are you doing? What are you doing playing this game here? This is about team basketball. This is about winning. This isn't about you and your individual stats. I don't like stat chases. I can't stand stat chases. I never was a stat chaser. I just played the game the right way, and I tried to play hard, and I did whatever I can do to help my team win. Whatever. It didn't matter if I was having a bad shooting game. Whatever. I believe the next one is going to go win. And I believe I'm going to make that shot. I really do. Because I've seen myself do it. Guess what? I seen myself do it because I was working on it. So if you don't want to take the time out to get better and appreciate what you're doing and you can play basketball and get paid to play basketball and get paid a lot of money and take care of your family to play basketball and start your own business and start a legacy, well, continue your legacy and start your family legacy and keep that going, your own family le legacy, you can do something individual that way. But I never think it's cool for people to not appreciate where they're at. There's so many people looking up to you, NBA fellas. And there's so many people looking up to you, collegiate basketball players, male and female. There's so many people looking up to you, different athletes playing AAU, traveling, high school, prep school. There's so many people looking up to these guys, so, I mean, and ladies, so why not do it the right way? And understand, you don't have to ever in your life prove any anything. You don't have to prove anything negative to anybody. You don't have to prove you have this. You don't have to prove you tough. You don't have to prove that you have people to have your back. You don't have to prove that stuff to anybody. Let the negative people talk negative. And let them do the screaming and hollering and all of that while you hit them with the part in my back. And you leave. You don't even have to say anything. You don't have to, like, entertain any negative. You can literally walk away. They let them talk to themselves. And the other idiots that love entertaining it. Because it's true, misery love company. A lie doesn't tell who tells it. And a lie doesn't uh, care who's listening. So, there's going to be people that's going to group up on you. And there's going to be people that's going to have similar feelings towards you because they don't like you. Everybody's not meant to like you. Okay? There's haters that have a job hating that don't get paid. Okay? You know that their pay is the satisfaction of seeing you hurt or angry. They love it. They love, they get paid when you entertain them. That's their pay, okay? They get a kick in the thrill out of it. So, don't give it to them. Be smart. Think ahead. Think for idiots. Because idiots will never think for themselves. You do not have to prove anything negative to anybody. Understand me. Prove to yourself that you can be smart and make the right decision and walk away. Prove to yourself you can leave people alone that doesn't have the have the uh, best 
interest and heart for you. Leave people alone who aren't really your friends. You get what I'm saying? Leave people alone who, see, look, a friend wouldn't talk about you behind your back. A friend doesn't do that. A friend doesn't get you mad to the point you want to fight them or hurt them or do anything else. A friend doesn't do that. A friend doesn't choose sides when you're going through something with somebody else because that friend should want to be there for you and make things better. A friend doesn't put the battery in your back and encourage you to do something negative back to someone who said something stupid about you or who tried to do something stupid to you. Because you're going to be the only one sitting inside the jail cell, detention, after school programs, or kicked out, homeless, or in that room getting beat, punished, or having things happen to you. You're going to be there. And always remember this. You're going to die by yourself. So stop handing your life over to these people in the city, in the world, outside. Stop handing your life over like these people are willing to die with you or do stuff with you. And you're all going to go to somewhere different. It's not like they're going to the same place <laughs> at all. All Everybody's going to get judged different. So, just understand that. And understand, man, stop recording the negative stuff. There's too many idiots on the internet doing internet, uh, internet cornball pranks and doing negative, and saying negative stuff and try to entice people and get people to fight them. Man, stay away from them people. You don't have to listen to that stuff. You do not have to listen to that negative stuff with that negative energy out there, putting that negative energy to the world, arguing all day, want to get people to fight and shoot people and want to go to people's house and get killed and shoot people. You want to rob and steal. They want you to go do this. They telling you literally they representing the devil. They don't want you to stop doing anything negative they want you to keep the party going understand this too as well you know what's crazy when people don't get when you go to jail you go to prison you are a slave it's a part of the 13th amendment you're, you're a slave so i've been a slave before so isn't it crazy that not only our ancestors been enslaved and caucasians and other people made money off our ancestors and our people's back and bad decisions and miscomings and bad choices and bad hands we were dealt in life. Now they get a chance to get paid off of you as a slave in prison. So if you think prison is pop is the right thing to do and that's popping and it's good, something wrong with you, you need a hug, you need a hug and a role model, you need help, Jack. Or Jack A. <laughs> but this is real life, man. Big bro, miss you, man. Always love, man. Base, base, my bro, Jonas. Nephews, man. Elijah and JJ, I miss y'all too. My whole family, I miss y'all. So always love. My sister Tisha, David, Lil Zane, Greek, Rello, everybody. Miss y'all all. She mad, Lil Jordy, everybody. Always love to everybody. Kayla, everybody. Everybody. Okay? Okay, so if I ain't say your name, love. Big bro, positive energy, stay up, stay up, stay up. Kyrie, what up, family? You already know, Kyrie battle. Salute, salute, salute to young Kyrie, respect. Salute to everybody, man, everybody in the world, man. The Knight family, salute, salute, always love. Coop family, always love, Coop family. Everybody, Nelson family, my Bronxdale family, you know what I mean? For the butter, TT, everybody, man. Nunu, Aldo, everybody, you get me? Everybody, man, love y'all. You already know, man, whatever side it is. Everybody go check out my man King Riley, too, man. Basketball player from uh, California on the West. Everybody check out my young fella Ray Dose, Cam Green. A lot of people, man. My young fella Dre from the Bronx. All of them, man. All of them. You know what I mean? Keep working and keep watching. And we're going to well, keep working and we're going to keep watching and keep doing your thing. Always love to my son, Jaden Krause. I love you to death, man. Everybody, man. Maya Maya. Snoopy Snoop. City. Big A. What up, family? B.O. Brandon Owens. What up, family? Always love to y'all, man. Everybody. Scott Bach. People. Scott. 
everybody, man, J Bo G I, everybody, everybody. So if y'all don't know, oh, my last thing, my last thing before I get out of here. Yo, when I made the comment about me being different, I am very different from everybody. And everybody's different from me. When I made the comment talking about, yo, don't be mad at me because I went to school and I went and did my thing. Yeah, don't be mad at me. I was only talking to a select few people that was hating on me from New York. There's only a couple of ball players hating. That was it. Wasn't talking to everybody because I understand and understand what it is. And I went to school with different people and I did other stuff. So wasn't trying to front on everybody and make it seem like I'm better than everybody. It's not how I give it up. That's not the way. It's not how I was taught. And that's not my vibe. So, that was only towards a couple of idiots that was trying to hate on me. And like I told you, these people don't get paid, but they get paid with if I get angry and emotional, over emotional. And sometimes it happens, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm a human being and I'm a work in progress. It's positive progress. So, that's how that goes. So, everybody's going to take it like I was trying to, you know, sit on everybody. You no. Know, it was just those select few idiots that thought they was somebody and they're really not. And they be getting me tight sometimes. But I had to let that go and relax. So I'm above that and I'm past that. That's when I'm above the negative energy, the stupidity that these people try to, try to you know, get you to get mad. Like, try to get you to do something. And you try to make you seem like you crazy so you can't get clients, so you can't get this, so you can't do your thing. Get what I'm saying? So watch how you let people get you angry and watch what you listen to, man, because everything doesn't need to be entertained. Everything, everything doesn't need to be answered and everything doesn't deserve a reaction. Always love, right over left, be the best. It's your host called Krauser, the Cruising King, King Krauser, a.k.a. that old black match. I'm out. Peace.